What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to go from making $0 a day to making $100 a day using Facebook ads. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I do have another video that talks about how to get started making your first sales with Instagram influencers, but this video is gonna be focused on Facebook ads instead of influencers. Now, if you do have a low budget, then I will recommend using influencers instead of Facebook because you're gonna to have to spend more money on Facebook to make your first sales. Now, let's hop into my computer and get into the video. All right, so obviously the first thing that I had to do was find a product, and then from there, I created two separate video ads to split tests. Now normally I would create three, but for this product, it was a little hard to find content to use for the videos, so I just started with two. Eventually, I will make more videos to start testing. Now it is 100% necessary to use video ads when doing this strategy, and you'll see why in a second. All right, so once I had my two video ads, I launched two separate PPE campaigns. These campaigns were targeting every single woman in the world that is on Facebook. So the reason why I chose woman was just because I know that that's who my product is going to appeal to most. And if you don't already know that off the bat, then that's fine. Just target everyone and you can narrow down from there. The only other thing that I changed besides the genders were the placements. And for that, I just chose Instagram feeds and Facebook feeds because that's what I'm normally using. After a couple of days, I had hundreds of thousands of video views and about 50,000 people that ended up watching 95% or more of my video. From there, I just went to the audiences tab on Facebook and created lookalike audiences from those 50,000, 95% video viewers. I created one lookalike audience that just targets the US, and I also created a lookalike audience that targets the big five, which are basically the five most major English speaking countries in the world. And those are the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. I only tested one and 2% for these lookalike audiences because I really didn't think that I had enough data to go any less specific. Basically, the idea behind this strategy is that you automatically target the people that are most interested in your product. And by running a worldwide audience, you're getting that data for very, very cheap. So once you have your lookalike audiences, you're gonna to wanna to launch two campaigns again with a bunch of ad sets in each one. These ad sets need to be testing age, gender, placement, and a whole bunch of other factors that you're gonna to need to figure out. Within a couple of days, you're probably going to know which video works better. Then you just need to keep testing different variables and different ads. Eventually, you're gonna get a good idea of who buys your product and a good idea of how to reach them best. After I received about 100,000 95% video views for my PPE campaigns, I went ahead and killed those. However, my 95% lookalike audiences are going to continue to optimize because of the people that are viewing that from my website conversion ad sets. The next step from there is just going to be to keep creating more lookalike audiences once you have the data for add to cart, initiate checkout, and eventually website conversion. Then it's time to scale and it all goes up from there. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Honestly, this is a strategy that I've just recently started testing, but I'm already seeing some really promising results, so I wanted to share it with you. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one.